All right, folks, so Garmin has just released the YouTube music app for compatible Garmin watches, where you can download music as well as podcast to your watch for offline listening without having to bring your phone with you on your ride or your run. In this video, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of how this works and which watches are compatible. So they're first launching this app with quite a few watches, but interestingly, not all their music capable watches. And right now it's most of their current watches that can use the app, but a few that aren't on the list for some reason, but they have told me that they're adding more watches to that list as time goes on. So keep on checking to see if your watch is compatible. But for today's video, I'll be using it on the Foreigner 965. Now to download music to your watch for offline listening, you will have to have a premium YouTube subscription. And this is very much the same as Spotify, Amazon Music, as well as some other apps. And it's not just for Garmin watches either either on other watches as well to have that offline download capability. All right, so to set up the app, you'll hop over to the Garmin Connect IQ app on your phone, go to the search tab, and then just search for YouTube music. And then go ahead and click install, and it takes about 30 to 60 seconds to install the app on your watch. And at that point, it should just automatically pop up as installed on your watch, and then just go ahead and click setup. Now you'll hop over to the Garmin Connect app and sign in, and this is where it'll just guide you to sign in with your Google account that's associated with your YouTube music account by entering a code and then just signing in. It is a little bit of back and forth between the Connect IQ app, the watch, and then the Garmin Connect app, but that process maybe takes just like a couple minutes. All right, so when you first launch the app, so I've actually saved a little bit of time here by already downloading some tracks and a podcast to the watch, but anything that you already do have saved to the watch will show up right up top. And then you can see your complete like, downloads list right here of all your music and all your podcasts. And then you can also update your playlist right here as well in case you make any changes to your playlist in your YouTube library. And then here you can see your entire YouTube music library takes a second. So here's like music, here's new episodes, here's the Finding Mastery podcast, here's the Fit File, here's a couple albums as well. Go ahead and click down. And then you'll notice that it takes just a little bit to kind of download the actual album cover. There you go. And then it'll take a second probably for this one as well. And then to download any of these, it's pretty much as simple as you just click and then it's going to search for a Wi-Fi network and then it's going to actually download. So for the Fit File podcast that I downloaded up here, this one episode it was about a 50 minute podcast, which took around three minutes to download. So anyways, to play any of those, you just click on here and then click again and then go ahead and get your headphones out and then you can just go ahead and click play at that point. And then for podcasts, you can actually backtrack a little bit right here. And then for the options right here, so we can increase the volume, boom, just like that. We can rewind if we want to. And then for uh, actual playlists, so if we click onto this one right here, just take a second to load, play pause, skip to the next track if we want to. And then if we click here, here's where again, where we're gonna adjust the volume, we can go back track, we can uh, enable shuffle. And then there's gonna be repeat options for off, all, and then one. Okay, back out of there. And then, so we already saw the library. So here in the music tab, so a lot of this is gonna be like recommended music for you. So here's gonna be some like recommended music mixes that they have. The one unfortunate thing though is that You'll see when it is actually downloaded, it'll show that right here. And then there's the download option. You can't actually browse any of these playlists, unfortunately, to see what you're actually downloading. So that I wish you could do. So right here, if we just click that, it'll basically just start to actually download the music. So you can't actually browse those uh, mixes, which I wish you could do. And then same thing with recommended right here. Yeah, you basically these just, just like start to download, unfortunately. So I really do wish that you could actually browse some of those uh, options right there. So anyways, going back, sorry, I'm moving a little bit quick here. Pardon me about that. And then the podcasts. Again, a lot of these are just gonna be like good suggestions. So in terms of your new episodes for the podcast that you've already subscribed to on the music app, those will show up here. And then you can also see recommended podcast down here and then the next option we can remove any downloads right here so we're going to remove music or any podcast or then we can update any playlist again that will change over time and then settings here's where you can see your device storage that's remaining as well as signing out and then just about the app 
And yeah, that's pretty big news for Garmin watches to get YouTube music support as well, along with Spotify as well as Amazon Music. And the selection is pretty wide at this point. And if you have questions about the YouTube music app that I didn't cover in this video, feel free to drop those down in the comment section down below. And on your way down there, if you found the information in this video useful, do me a favor and quickly hit that like button, as well as subscribe to the channel for plenty more sports tech news that's coming right around the corner. Have fun out there, and we will see you in the next video.